We're back in Rome. I'm Father Reed. Ciao, amici. Hey, wait till you see this. When I was a student here in the city, we called this place behind me the Bone Church. I'm standing on the Via Veneto, not far actually from the United States Embassy, and just behind me, Capuchin Crypt is a small space comprising of several tiny chapels located beneath the Church of Santa Maria della Concezione dei Cappuccini here in the Via Veneto near Piazza Barberini. It contains the skeletal remains of 4,000 bodies believed to be Capuchin friars and others buried by their order. Now the order insists that this display is not meant to be macabre, but a silent reminder of the swift passage of life here on earth. Large numbers of the bones are nailed to the walls in intricate patterns, many piled high among countless others, while some hang from the ceiling as light fixtures. Very interesting. Now, when the monks arrived at the church in 1631, they brought 300 cartloads of deceased friars. The soil in the crypt was brought from Jerusalem by order of Pope Urban VIII. As the monks died, you see, throughout the lifetime of the crypt, the longest buried monk was exhumed to make room for the newly deceased, who was then buried without a coffin. And then the newly reclaimed bones were added to the decorative motifs. There are, in total, six rooms in the crypt, five featuring a unique display of human bones believed to have been taken from the bodies of friars who had died between the years of 1528 and 1870. Now, as bizarre as all of this is, the key to interpreting this art formed from death lies in our Christian belief in the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Kind of different, huh? I'm Father Reed here at the Bone Church on the Via Veneto in Rome. Ci vediamo presto.